subscribe lagi <laughs> kamu. Welcome to Ho Chi Minh City, where every corner has a story to tell and a surprise to offer. Join us as we explore this bustling metropolis and discover its hidden gems. Our first stop is a workshop called Handicapped Handicrafts. In the heart of Ho Chi Minh City lies a workshop unlike any other where creativity knows no bounds and disabilities are overshadowed by sheer talent and determination. These artisans are not just creating beautiful handicrafts, they are crafting dreams, breaking barriers, and inspiring others to see beyond disabilities. Welcome to the Chu Chi Tunnels, a remarkable underground network in Vietnam that played a crucial role in the country's history. These tunnels were used by the Viet Cong soldiers during the Vietnam War to combat the American forces. Today, these tunnels have been preserved as a war memorial offering visitors a glimpse into the harsh realities of war and the resilience of the Vietnamese people. The tunnels are incredibly narrow, showcasing the ingenuity of the Viet Cong soldiers who built them. <laughs> Hold it babe, higher, higher babe. <laughs> Put it down again. Where are you going? Right the way down babe. There you go. <laughs> Oh my god. Come on. Come on. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh the Chuchi tunnels are not just a tourist attraction, they are a symbol of the strength and determination of the Vietnamese people. It's a place where history comes alive. Almost 200 km long, with many bunker underground, one tree block, no? tunnel underground, no? they did by hand, no architect, no engineer building construction. In addition to the tunnels, visitors can also see various traps and weapons used during the war, providing a comprehensive insight into the tactics employed by the Viet Cong soldiers. here we are at the military workshop where soldiers crafted weapons and supplies to support their cause 
workshop like this one played a crucial role in supporting the guerrilla fighters. Here, they manufactured a variety of weapons, including improvised explosives and traps, using basic tools and materials. <laughs> Is it hard? <laughs> Pull back the push. <coughs> oi, oi, look how strong you are, babe. Pull, push. Oi, you're a quick better than me, babe. Look at you go. <laughs> See you, All right, you're showing off now. As we venture inside, it's immediately apparent that these tunnels were not designed for comfort. The passageways are narrow and the ceiling is low forcing visitors to half sit and move with their knees. Despite the cramped conditions, they were able to live and operate effectively underground out of sight from enemy forces. It's incredible to think about the sacrifices that were made here. The conditions are harsh, but it gives you a profound appreciation for what the soldiers endured. Chuchi tunnels stand as a testament to the resilience and determination of the Vietnamese people. It's a somber reminder of the cause of war and the lens that people will go to in order to fight for what they believe in. It's a must visit for anyone interested in history and the human spirit. <laughs> Now we are taking you on a journey to Mai To, a small island in Vietnam where we will explore a unique bee farm, learn how to cook popcorn with sand, and enjoy a relaxing canal cruise. Let's dive in! As we arrive in Mai Tho, we are greeted by the serene beauty of the island. The air is filled with the sweet scent of flowers and the sounds of nature surrounds us. Our adventure is about to begin. Our first stop is the bee farm where we get a close-up look at these incredible creatures. <laughs> okay, who? Hang up. The rain coming, huh? They're hungry. They're gonna fly down that time. Maybe the next one. Who want photo? Careful, guys. <laughs> Okay. Who won? Next one. Who won? The beekeepers here use traditional methods to harvest honey, and we even get to taste some of the delicious honey. Next, we're off to learn a unique cooking method, popping popcorn with sand. Mm -hmm. 
This traditional technique involves heating sand in a pan until it's scorching hot, then adding popcorn kernels. The heat from the sand pops the kernels, giving the popcorn a unique smoky flavor. <laughs> After our culinary adventure, we hop on a boat for a relaxing canal cruise. The calm waters are lined with lush greenery and we pass by traditional wooden boats and stilt houses along the way. It's a peaceful and scenic journey that offers a glimpse into local life. And that's all for today guys. It has been a wonderful blend of exploration and relaxation. Thanks for joining me on this adventure and I'll see you in the next video.